Nodes, items, and crafting. This this is the mind test modding book. Um, and it's got the Creative Commons license. All right, nodes, items, and crafting. Introduction. In this chapter, we will learn how to register a new node or craft item and create craft recipes. Item strings, textures, registering a craft item, foods, registering a basic node, crafting groups. Okay, item strings. Each item, whether that be a node, craft item, tool, or entity, has, a, has an item string. This is sometimes referred to as registered name or just name. A string in programming terms is a piece of text mod name colon item name the mod name is the name of the folder your mod is in you may call the item name anything you like however it should be relevant to what the item is and it can't already be registered overriding allows you to redefine an existing item Overriding allows you to use an item string with a different mod name. To override, you prefix the item string with a colon. colon. Declaring an item as colon default colon dirt will override the default colon dirt in the default mod. Hmm. Declaring an item as colon default colon dirt will override the default colon dirt in the default mod. Textures. Textures are usually 16 by 16 pixels. So textures are 16 by 16 pixels. They can be any resolution but it is recommended that they are in the order of two, e.g. 16, 32, 64, 128, etc., as other resolutions may not be supported correctly on older devices. Textures should be placed in textures forward slash. Their name should match mod name underscore item name Dot png. Okay, so that's mod name underscore item name dot png. JPEGs are supported, but they do not support transparency and are generally bad quality at low resolutions. Registering a craft item. Craft items are the simplest items in mind test. Craft items cannot be placed in the world. They are used in recipes to create other items, or they can be used by the player, such as food. Mindtest.register underscore craft item, parentheses quote, my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quote, comma, space, bracket. Next line is description equals, quote, alien diamond fragments, close quotes, comma, inventory underscore image equals, quote, my mod underscore diamond underscore fragments dot PNG, close quotes. And then the next line is a bracket and a parentheses, closing. Item definitions like the one seen above are usually made up of a unique item string and a definition table. Let's look at that item string. Um, that's lower down and a definition table. Okay, so items are made of an item string and a definition table. 
The definition table contains attributes which affect the behavior of the item. Foods. Foods are items that cure health. To create a food item, you need to define the on-use property like this. Mindtest.register underscore craft item, quote, uh, parentheses, quote, my mod colon mud pie, close quotes, comma, bracket. Okay, the next line, description equals, quote, alien mud pie, close quotes, comma, In, next line, inventory underscore image equals, quote, my food underscore mud pie dot PNG, close quote, comma. Next line, on underscore use equals mind test dot item underscore eat parentheses 20, close parentheses. Then next line is close bracket and parentheses. The number supplied to the mindtest.item underscore eat function is the number of hit points that are healed by this food. Two hit points make one heart. And because there are 10 hearts, there are 20 hit points. Hit points don't have to be integers, whole numbers. They can be decimals. Sometimes you may want a food to be replaced with another item when being eaten. For example, smaller pieces of cake or bones after eating meat. To do this, use mindtest.item underscore eat parentheses HP comma replace underscore with underscore item close parentheses where replace with item is an item string. Foods extended. How about if you want to do more than just eat the item, such as send a message to the player? Mindtest.register underscore craft item parentheses quote my mod colon mud pie close quotes comma bracket. Next line, description equals, quote, alien mud ply, close quote, comma. Next line, inventory underscore image equals, quote, my food underscore mud pie dot PNG, close quote, comma. Next line, on underscore use equals function parentheses item stack, comma, user, comma, pointed, underscore, thing. Next line, indented, HP, underscore, change, equals 20. Next line, indented, replace, underscore, with, underscore, item, equals NIL. Nil. I guess he's setting up the variable using the nil, so he can use the variable later. Uh, mind test dot next line is mind test dot chat underscore send underscore player parentheses user colon get underscore player underscore name parentheses close parentheses comma quote you ate an alien mud pie exclamation point close quote close parentheses all right then there's a double dash for a comment in Lua Support for hunger mods using mind test dot register underscore on underscore item underscore eat. Okay, so the next line for underscore comma call back in pairs parentheses mind mind test dot registered underscore on underscore item underscore eats close parentheses do. Next line indented further local space result equals callback parentheses HP underscore change comma replace with item comma item stack comma user comma pointed thing 
then uh, uh, indent it even further, return space result. Then back one indentation, end, and then back another, end. Next line, if item stack colon take underscore item, parentheses, parentheses, tilde equals, that does not equal, nil, nil, then next line indented further, user colon set underscore hp parentheses user colon get underscore hp parentheses parentheses plus hp underscore change close parentheses end return item stack then um, back one indentation end then back to the beginning close brackets close parentheses so this sends a message to the player, apparently. Uh, let's see. Registered craft item, that's this up here. Description, inventory image, on use eat. Let's see, on use, place with item, mind test dot chat. Uh, there's the hit point, change equals 20 that assigns a variable and you add the user get hit points to the hit points added it looks like all right if you are creating a hunger mod or if you are affecting foods outside of your mod you should consider using mind test dot register on item eat those underscores in the middle there Re um, so if you're creating a hunger mod, if you're affecting tools, foods outside of your mod, you should consider using mindtest.register underscore on underscore item underscore eat. Registering a basic node. In mindtest, a node is an item that you can place. Most nodes are 1m by 1m by 1m cubes. However, the shape doesn't have to be a cube, as we will explore later. Let's get, in, let's get on to it. A node's definition table is very similar to a craft item's definition table. However, you need to set the textures for the faces of the cube. MindTest.Register underscore node, parentheses, quote, MyMod colon, diamond, close quotes, comma, open bracket. A node's definition is very similar to craft items. However, you need to set the textures for the faces of the cube. Let's see. The next line's indented. Description equals, quote, alien diamond, close quote, comma. Uh, next line. Tiles equals, open bracket, quote, my mod underscore diamond dot PNG, close quote, bracket, comma. Next line, is underscore ground underscore content equals true. Next line, groups equals bracket, cracky equals three, quote, stone equals one, close bracket. Next line, back in indentation, uh, close bracket, close parentheses. Let's ignore groups for now and take a look at the tiles. The tiles property is a table of texture names the node will use. When there is only one texture, this texture is used on every side. What if you would like a different texture for each side? Well, you give a table of six texture names in this order. Up plus Y, down minus Y, right plus x, left minus x, back plus z, front minus z. So it's parentheses plus y comma minus y comma, uh, there's a space after each comma, plus x comma space minus x comma space plus z comma space minus z close parentheses. Remember plus y is upwards in mind test. Along with most video games, a plus direction means that it's facing positive coordinates, 
A negative direction means that it's facing negative coordinates. Mind test dot register underscore node parentheses quote my mod colon diamond close quote comma space bracket next line indented description equals quote alien diamond close quote comma next line tiles equals open bracket next line all right quote my mod underscore diamond underscore up dot png Next line, quote, my mod underscore diamond underscore down png dot png, close quote, comma. Next line, quote, my mod underscore diamond underscore right dot png, close quote, comma. Quote, my mod underscore diamond underscore left dot png, close quote, comma. Next line, quote, my mod underscore diamond underscore back dot png, quote, comma, next line, quote, my mod underscore diamond underscore front dot PNG quote. Next line, back one indentations, close bracket and a comma. Next line is, is underscore ground underscore content equals true comma. Next line, groups equals bracket cracky equals three close bracket comma. Drop equals, quote, my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quotes. Now, two dashes for a comment, the upper arrow. Rather than dropping diamond, drop my mod colon diamond underscore fragments. Uh, that's the last line here, drop my mod colon diamond underscore fragments. And then the last line is uh, back at the beginning indentation close bracket, close parentheses. So up at the top here, it says first up plus y, then down minus y. That's the first two lines here in the bracket. Um, let's see, then right and left, that's the second two here. Notice the commas, you could write this going across. So essentially he's using the plus y minus y, plus, s, plus x minus x. Um, uh, I see. So it describes the six faces of this alien diamond. This is underscore ground underscore content. A tribute allows caves to be generated over the stone is underscore ground underscore content equals true. A tribute allows caves to be generated over the stone. Crafting. There are several different types of crafting identified by the type property. Shaped. That's ingredients must be in the correct position. Shapeless. It doesn't matter where the ingredients are, just that there is the right amount. Cooking. Recipes for the furnace to use. And under cooking is fuel. Defines items which can be burned in furnaces. And uh, tool underscore repair. Used to allow the repairing of tools. Craft recipes do not use item strings to uniquely identify themselves. Shaped. Shaped recipes are the normal recipes. The ingredients have to be in the right place. For example, when you are making a pickaxe, the ingredients have to be in the right place for it to work. So you have mindtest.registercraft. The output equals my mod colon diamond underscore chair 99, close quote, and then the recipe. You have the bracket. Now the first line is bracket, quote, my mind, colon, diamond fragments, close quote, comma, empty quotes, and then another pair of comma, empty quotes. So that would be the top row of boxes for the recipe. Then the next line has brackets, quote, my mod, colon, diamond, underscore fragments, close quotes, comma, 
then a space, and then, quote, my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quotes, comma, then a space, and then quote, quote, or the empty quotes, close brackets, and comma. That would be the second line of three boxes for the recipe. And then the third row here is bracket, quote, my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quote, comma, quote, my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quotes, comma, space, quote, quote, close brackets. So that's the third row. So you have a diamond fragment in the top, then two diamond fragments, and then two more diamond fragments on the bottom. And now the next line, you lose an indentation, close bracket, then go back to the beginning, uh, close bracket, close parentheses on the next line. This is pretty self-explanatory. You don't need to define the type, as shaped crafts are default. The 99 after the item name and output makes the craft create 99 chairs rather than one. So up here it says output equals quote, my mod colon diamond underscore chair space 99 close quote comma. That will make 99 chairs for the output in the box there rather than one chair. If you notice, there is a blank column at the far end. This means that the craft must always be exactly that. In most cases, such as the door recipe, you don't care if the ingredients are always in an exact place. You just want them correct relative to each other. In order to do this, delete any empty rows and columns. In the above case, there is an empty last column, which, when removed, allows the recipe to, to be crafted if it was all moved one place to the right. Uh, so this last quotes in each of these was removed, and there's no comma, so it's in the recipe, it's my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quotes, comma, space, quote, quote, and then in close brackets, comma. Then the second row of boxes is open bracket, quote, my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quotes, comma, space, quote, my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quotes, brackets, and no, um, Notice they skipped a comma in the next quotes. And then on the last line, they do again my mod diamond fragments twice, and then they don't do the last set of quotes. Shapeless. Shapeless recipes are a type of recipe which is used when it doesn't matter where the ingredients are placed, just that they're there. For example, when you craft a bronze ingot, the steel and the copper do not need to be in any specific place for it to work. Mind test dot register underscore craft parentheses bracket. Next line indented. Type equals quote shapeless unquote comma. Output equals quote my mod colon diamond quote close quote comma. So that would be uh, he took the 99 out, so this now makes the output one chair. I don't think he said that this would be one chair. See the 99 is missing here? All right. Sha type equals shapeless. Output. Uh, so the type is shapeless. So you just throw the stuff in there. Output, my mod diamond, with the comma at the end, recipe equals, bracket, quote, my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quotes, comma, quote, my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quotes, comma, space. The space is after the um, commas. And then, quote, my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quote, close bracket. Then the next line is close bracket, uh, back to the um, no indentation. So close bracket, close parentheses. So in this case, it looks like you put in three diamond fragments and you get a diamond out of that.
a single diamond. When you're crafting the diamond, the three diamond fragments can be anywhere in the grid. Note, you can still use options like the number after the result, as mentioned earlier. Cooking. Recipes with the type cooking, quote cooking, unquote, are not made in the crafting grid, but are cooked in furnaces or other cooking tools that might be found in mods. For example, you use a cooking recipe to turn ores into bars. Mindtest.register underscore craft, parentheses bracket, now indent, type equals quote cooking unquote comma, next line, output equals quote my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quote, See, where was I? Output equals, quote, my mod colon diamond underscore fragments, close quote, comma. Next line, recipe equals, quote, default colon coal block, close quotes, comma. Cook time, next line is cook time equals 10, comma. And then the next line with no indentation is bracket parentheses. So let's see, the type assigned here is cooking. So it's considered a craft, mind test register craft. The output will be diamond fragments. And the recipe is default coal block. So you put a coal block in there and the cook time is 10. As you can see from this example, the only real difference in the code is that the recipe is just a single item compared to being in a table between braces. They also have an optional cook time parameter which defines how long the item takes to cook. If this is not set, it defaults to three. So the cook time, if it's not set, will default to the number three. The recipe above works when the coal block is in the input slot with some form of a fuel below it. It creates diamond fragments after 10 seconds. Ah, the 10 is 10 seconds, so the 3 is 3 seconds. Fuel. This type is an accompaniment to the cooking type, as it defines what can be burned in furnaces and other cooking tools from mods. Mindtest.register underscore craft parentheses bracket, then the next line's indented, type equals fuel, that's in quote, fuel, unquote, comma. Then the next line is recipe equals, quote, my mod colon diamond, close quote, comma. Burn time equals 300, comma. Then the next line with no indentation is close bracket and close parentheses. So the burn time is probably 300 seconds here. Uh, the recipe is you can burn my, the diamond, and it's considered uh, fuel. They don't have an app output like other recipes, but they have a burn time which defines how long they will last as fuel in seconds. So the diamond is good as fuel for 300 seconds. See, burn time equals 300, comma. Groups. Items can be members of many groups, and groups can have many members. Groups are usually identified using group colon group underscore name. There are several reasons you use groups. Groups can be used in crafting recipes to allow interchangeability of ingredients. For example, you may use group colon wood to allow any wood item to be used in the recipe. Group colon wood would allow any wood item to be used in the recipe. Ah. Dig types. Let's look at our above. My mod colon diamond definition you'll notice this line. Groups equals bracket, cracky equals three, close bracket. Cracky is a dig type. 
dictype specify what type of the material the node is physically and what tools are best to destroy it. For example, crumbly is dirt and sand. So the group is crumbly and the description of what it gets is dirt and sand. Cracky is tough but crackable stuff like stone. Snappy is something that can be cut using fine tools like leaves, small plants, wire, sheets of metal. That's snappy. Choppy is something that can be cut using force like trees or wooden, wooden planks. That's choppy. Fleshy are living things like animals and the player. This could imply some blood effects when hitting. Okay, that's fleshy. Explody, that's especially prone to explosions. Explosions. Now, oddly underscore breakable underscore by underscore hand. Those are things like torches, torches, or etc. Things quick to dig. So oddly underscore breakable underscore by underscore hand. 